Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition is one of the best mods ever made, and it's a shame we never got that kind of fan treatment of Silent Hill 3, since some people actually like it more than 2. There are mods you can install, but it's really complicated compared to the ease of the Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition setup, and that's what I'm aiming to fix with this video. I am going to go over the mods that I believe that are essential, as well as some optional ones. With all that said, let's get into what you need before we get started. This shouldn't come as a surprise, but you will need a copy of the game for PC, preferably one that's already been pre-ripped from the ISO. I can't link it here, but it's considered abandonware, which is a legal gray area. But if you go to Google, they will have some really useful links. You can use a physical copy for this as well, you just have to get rid of the secure ROM DRM. I won't be going over that here, however, but it's the same process after you do that. Another thing you will need is 7-zip. I think WinRAR would work as well. There is a 7-zip file you will need to extract, and the default Windows zip extractor won't work. It was giving me this error. I will bring it up what zip file it is when we get there. Then after that, we just need to download all the mods. The main essential one you need is the Silent Hill 3 PC fix by Steam006. This adds so much stuff, but the main thing is a ton of fixes, widescreen, graphical fixes, and all the stuff that is listed right here. But there are a few other optional mods and tweaks that you might want to consider before you play. One being the Silent Hill 3 Audio Enhancement Pack. The PC version uses heavily compressed audio compared to the PS2 version, and some of the sounds sound different for some reason. Luckily someone has exported all the sounds from the PS2 version and made a mod for it. You will need another program if you want to install it, called Reloaded 2. The last optional mod is for controller support. You will need the X input plus in the controller fig file depending on what controller you use. If you're using the Xbox controller or DualSense or DualShock through DS4 for Windows, download the Xbox version. If you're using a PS4 controller without that program, you will need the PlayStation one. I will be using the Xbox version since I'm using a DualSense controller through DS4 for Windows. All the downloads for everything will be linked below in the description. After you get all that downloaded, we can move on to installation. If you downloaded a copy of Silent Hill 3, make sure you have it extracted to a folder. After you're done with that, we can install the Silent Hill 3 PC fix. This was the zip file I mentioned earlier. If you just extract it using the Windows unzip program, you'll get this error. What you need to do is right click on the PC fix file and go down to 7-zip. Go over to the pop out window and select extract files. It will open this window. Select where you want to extract it to. I recommend doing it in the place that has all the things you downloaded. Then put in the password. It's PCGW. Then click OK and let's do its work. Then click into the folder you extracted. You need to drag all these files into your Silent Hill 3 folder. After that, the main mod is installed. One thing to note, if you want to edit any of the configs for the mod, you have to open up the Silent Hill 3 PC fix file in Notepad. Just right click and select the Notepad program you use. I use Notepad++. At the top, it will give you instructions on how to change stuff, but this is not required to do, the base settings work for me out of the box. After that, you can start to enjoy the game if you want to, but if you want to install the audio enhancement and controller support, keep on watching. The first optional mod is the audio enhancement pack. Just a fair bit of warning, this mod can bug up at times, screwing up the audio. Here's an example of that happening. Other than that, it's a great mod that is somewhat essential but not required. The first thing you need to do is install the setup for Loaded 2. Just double click the setup.exe and start the installation. You may get a pop-up saying that Windows protects your computer, but don't worry, this file is safe. After it is installed, it will make a folder as well as a shortcut on your desktop. I recommend deleting the shortcut because we'll be moving the folder to our Silent Hill 3 folder. Now drag the Reloaded 2 folder into the Silent Hill 3 folder. Now go into the Reloaded 2 folder and go into the Mods folder. Extract all the Silent Hill 3 audio enhancement files into the Mods folder. After you do that, we'll need to boot up Reloaded 2. After it's boot up, click the plus icon on the left side. Then find where you installed Silent Hill 3 at. Select the game's EXE. After you do that, it will open up a config mods menu. All you have to do now is just check the box for the mod, and you officially have it installed. You will need to launch the game through here if you want to use the mod, but you can make a shortcut under actions for the game, so you don't have to boot up the program every single time. Now the only other optional thing left is to set up a controller. Make a folder called X input in your Silent Hill 3 folder and extract the xinput plus file that you downloaded into that folder. 
After you do that, click on the Expo Input Plus application. Up at the top you will see a text box that says Target Program. You will need to select the Silent Hill 3 application. After that you will need to go to the box that says Direct Input. Check that box and enable Direct Input Output. And after that you will see Key Assign. You will need to set Right Stick to Z Axis slash Z Rot. LT, RT to button 11 and 12 and D-pad to button 13 through 16. It should look like this when you're done. After that, you'll have to go to the bottom and hit apply. Hit OK to all the boxes and pop-ups and we're almost done. Go to the folder that have all our stuff that we downloaded and look for the control config that we downloaded. I have the Xbox one, but depending on which one you downloaded, it might be the PlayStation one. Open it up and click on the folder that's inside there. You should see a file called key. We'll need to drag this file into the save data folder where you have your Silent Hill 3 installed. After that, we are done. You can close out the input plus and boot up the game and enjoy it with a controller. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. Make sure to delete all the unneeded download files you have. This should make the game a lot more enjoyable playing on PC. If you have any questions, leave them below. I don't really make videos, but I do stream on Twitch. Consider checking it out below. A huge thanks to the Silent Hill community for making these mods. Steam006 for the PC fix, Mario Tanahaki for the audio enhancement pack, and Glitchy Reel for their awesome Reddit thread going on how to get every Silent Hill game running on PC. If you guys like this, I'll consider doing more tutorials in the future. Other than that, enjoy the game and have a nice day.